When you're almost famous, you just might find yourself live on air on WATD. Hour two of Almost Famous begins now. And welcome to the tiny stage hour of Almost Famous, 95.9 WATD. Introducing you to independent bands and musicians from across New England. Brought to you each week by Tiny and Sons Glass. My name is John Shea. Hunker down in the bunker studio of WATD for tonight's Almost Famous. We do have a guest tonight. We are social distancing, so we're doing the guest over the phone. And we're being joined tonight by Visiting Wine. How are you guys doing? Hey. Good. Awesome. Doing great. So who do we have joining us on the phone? I know I know this is a little bit tough because we can't all see each other, so each person say who you are. I'm Lindsay. I'm Jim. And I'm Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You got a voice for radio, my friend. Thank you. Of course. So um, whoever wants to take this, uh, talk about the band and talk about how all you guys came together. Lindsay, do you want to take that one? Sure. Um yeah, so uh, we've been uh, we've been performing together for a couple of years now. Officially, a band since about June of 2018, um, so about two years now. And um, we met kind of all over the place through the Boston music scene. And um, Jim and Greg knew each other from college, and we've just sort of been assembling this little power team for a couple of years now. Um, and we put out the second album. Yeah, it came out on Friday. That's 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 really cool. Now, before we talk about the new album, you guys had a, a self-titled album before that that came out. What, what was that about two years ago? What was it? Late July of 2018. Yeah. Very uh, cool. And did a, a CD release show? I think was that at the Burn. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Well, uh, before we talk more about either album, let's play a song. Um, We're we're playing songs off off of both of the albums tonight instead of the in-studio thing. So what do you guys want to start music-wise tonight? Are we starting with the opening track? Oh, yeah. And which one is that? Brush of Blood. All right. Visiting Y, 95.9 WATD. May we never tire of starting over. May we never be too high to try again We are petrichor moving forward A brand new rush of blood straight to the head I need every chance I can to start over I need every day this year to come out clean I think the hardest part of turning back to meet you Is noticing how close you've always been Take heart, go in peace And make good, good things Oh, take heart, go in peace And make good things Gates. I'll be turning like a wave until you break us. 
And that's from their new album, Take Heart, Visiting Wine on 95.9 WATD. Rush of Blood is the name of the tune. And, well, yes, it is the 9 o'clock hour. It is the Tiny Stage Hour. However, because of our social distancing concerns, we are doing the Tiny Stage Hour tonight over the phone. And Visiting Wine is joining us. Guys, how you doing? Doing well. Doing great. This is awkward. I, I, I'm not used to doing this phone thing. Yeah. No, we can't do the like strategic nod of like, I all know. right, you're gonna take this one, or am I gonna take this one? <laughs> yeah. Are you all uh, social distancing as best you can? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Cool. I'm home alone yep. with my cat. That's good. What's the cat's name? <laughs> the cat's name is Casey. Oh. She's really desperate to be involved. <laughs> yeah. Is that her in the background? <laughs> Yeah. So talk about that song, Rush of Blood. Was that song written specifically for the album? Yes, it was written specifically for the album. Um, I think it was written earlier this summer. Rush of Blood and and, um, and Slow Down were both written in the same in the same week. We're doing a bit of a, a bit of a writing sprint, um, and it was just sort of a moment where um, I had thrown out my back, and so I had really nothing to do except for be uh, horizontal and like think about life. <laughs> so. I remember just feeling like we really need just a sort of a big song that's hopeful and sort of like it, it just felt a little bit like something that we could sort of sing over the audience of like all the things that we hope for their lives, all the things that we hope that people can experience. Um, and sort of it, it sort of became a collection of, of those thoughts. And then we, we all arranged it together and sort of gave it its big, um, big boomy sound. That's cool. Now, no, talk about working on the arrangements because... Every Visiting Wine song has this bombastic kind of a uh, huge sound to them. How do you guys work out your arrangements? Greg, you want to take that one? Why don't you, yeah, why don't you take that one, Greg? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Magic all, happens. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they all sort of happen in different ways. So uh, we have really two main categories. Um, the first one is live arrangements, um, which this album is, is really the first... I say it's the first album, we've only done two. So, um, of the two albums, uh, this one, a lot of it was written live as far as the arrangement goes. So things like Where Have You Been, um, Haunted is another big one where those are pretty much with some, you know, frills around the edges here and there, for the most part are what they sound like live. Um, Jordan plays drums on all of those on the album. Um, and so if you actually see us at a show, that's pretty much what you're in for with those songs. And then we have songs where the arrangements are sort of born in the studio, and then we adapt them for live performance, um, which happened a lot on the old album. That whole album was done really before we played any full band live shows. So we had to sort of figure out how to make those work with the instrumentation that we have for our live show. Um, so they, it, it's two totally different animals, and it ends up giving us a lot of a lot of decisions to make in terms of okay, you know, we have something like you know, where have you been or or haunted those live arrangements. When we record these, do we want them to sound like they do live, or do we want to create a different experience? So it really goes uh, almost entirely one way or the other. Um, it's either just totally studio, sky's the limit. If you want uh, synth sounds in there, if you want, you know, tons of percussion that we can't replicate live, great. Um, or it's the, this is what we play live. Let's just throw this down and see if we like it as an album track. It was similar for some songs, um, but again, just astronomically different for some of the others. Um, the first album was actually almost entirely done before we even had Jim. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of I was gonna albums. say. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I don't know if this was—I don't know if we've actually mentioned this in interviews really before. But the first album, um, with the exception of Hallelujah, Grace, and Cake, um, was actually originally going to be Lindsay's solo project, and it was just that album that was, uh, you know, going to just be the recording for a song. So then when we started playing them all together. We were like, oh, this is actually, we're kind of all a band now. <laughs> um, so we threw <laughs> down the last couple tracks just hastily. Um, I mean, within, I don't think we started recording Hallelujah 
it couldn't have been more than two weeks before we uploaded it to like DistroKid <laughs> and, and SoundCloud and all the places. Yeah, I was there. SoundCloud. Who, who am I? SoundCloud, that's awesome. Uh, Spotify. That's the one. Uh, cool. But this new album was a lot of having to, you know, actually work as a band because we were doing live drums and we had suddenly three in some places four different vocalists that were singing on things. So it was a lot more. Uh, actual coordination and and a lot less just okay record the vocal and then you know I sit up in my workstation and don't talk to anyone for a day and a half and just have the song done so uh, it was fun it was totally different very cool let's jump back to the first self-titled album I think this is the first song that I ever played by you on WATD and that is uh, Spectres who wants to talk about what this song's about Lindsay Spectres yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Spectres um, was... Spectres is one of, like... It's kind of a unique visiting line song because some of them have very, very clear and specific lyrics, and Spectres is kind of not one of those. Um, for a while, Spectres had a very different, almost like forest fairy feel um, before it became more... Before, before we had Jim's vocal, before it became more like Stomp and Holla, before it became as big as it is, um, like, arrangement-wise as it is now. Um and so it was sort of meant to be this little dreamy um, sort of escapist song um, just about like, just with the, the language of like Dreamweaver and um, it, and like Technicolor Neon Green, like that, that's, it's pretty far afield from the, the lyrical content of the rest of the Visiting Wine songs. Um, and so it's sort of like the dreamiest, like just supposed to sort of create an environment for people kind of song. Awesome. Well, let's play it right now, and then we'll chat more with Visiting Wine. There are our tiny stage guests tonight right here on 95.9 WATD. Called your name because I've been sleeping restless. Dreams are filled with haunting specters. Should I speculate that you are with me when I sleep, dream weaver?
Visiting Wine 95.9 WATD, our virtual tiny stage guest tonight on 95.9 WATD, and that is called Spectres. They're joining us on the phone tonight, so we're not anywhere close to each other. There's no way we can spread the coronavirus. Not that anybody has it, but just in case, better safe than sorry. Visiting Wine, how's everybody doing? Doing well. as well as one could be doing. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so yeah, that, 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 wow. That's uh, that, that sounds <laughs> grim, man. What? <laughs> I don't know what, what to say after that. But that was uh, that was Spectres. That was off the self-titled album, and um, that's one that uh, that Lindsay wrote. But you guys have a new album that dropped on Friday. Talk a little bit more about that. Anybody who wants to. Yeah, the sec. Oh yeah, I can take this one. Um, the second album, Take Heart, um, is definitely um, our most collaborative album. It's the one that we wrote the most together. It's the one that, that sort of um, is really unique from the first one in the sense that in, in the first album was a lot of finished songs that, that then um, we sort of transformed into a, a arrangement for a band. Um, but Take Heart was pretty different. It was definitely more songs grown from seeds and songs that were, you know, a guitar part from this person and the and lyrics from this person and the arrangement from this person and it feels a lot more like a very collaborative like um, it's a pretty distinct mix of, of all of our musical styles but it still has we were very um, specific in sort of curating the songs that came onto this album because we've written a ton um, since the last since the original sort of uh, Visiting Wine album and we were very specific in ensuring like the the message we want to send and the sort of um, the intention behind behind this album. Guys, we're up against our first break of the night, but we have a lot more time left to talk about the album and the old album, too. So uh, we are Visiting Wine on 95.9 WATD. We have more right after this message from Tiny and Sons Glass. We're your radio station. The South Shores 95.9 WATD. Welcome back to Almost Famous 95.9 WATD, introducing you to independent bands and musicians from across New England every Tuesday night, brought to you by Tiny and Sons Glass. My name is John Shea, and we're on the Tiny stage tonight through the phone with the band Visiting Wine. How's everybody doing? Doing well. Doing good. So let's do another round of introductions and let people know who we have joining us tonight. I'm Lindsay. I'm Jim. And I'm Greg. And you are visiting wine. Uh, remind us again uh, a brief history of the band. How did you guys all meet and come together? Anyone else want to take a shot? Greg? Uh, sure. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, um, originally, um, Lindsay and I had started playing together. Um, and the we were playing a lot at this place called the Bebop in the... Uh, is that Fenway, technically? Yeah. The, yeah sure, exactly. Back Bay? I don't know. Um, Love that place, and, by the way. Oh, it's, yeah, oh, it's yeah. awesome. And the food's really good, too. Uh, they make fun <laughs> of me for what I get every time. And I'm not even going to say what I get because I am defending myself here. Uh, so, That's oh, awesome. come on. Now you have to share. <laughs> They're Brussels sprouts. Leave me alone. You'll get Brussels sprouts at a bar. <laughs> You don't get Brussels. Anyway, um, eventually we had started putting together um, some of the actual tracks that were happening, basically just, just for fun. We were recording. Um, Spectres was the first one, um, which Lindsay mentioned this earlier, but there was a totally different version of it uh, that was released, which is uh, still up on SoundCloud, actually. You can find that. But uh, we recorded that. We recorded Shipless Captain, which is still in its original form on the album. And there was one day where we were actually releasing uh, an EP for a totally different band that Lindsay was a part of called Floor Club. And I recorded this EP for them. And then we wanted to do a release show. And so we got uh, myself and actually my roommates, <laughs> one of whom is Jim, who is on the phone with us right now, and uh, our other roommate, Chris. And we started rehearsing for the release show. And we kind of had this moment of like, oh, this is really cool having like more than just two people or three people. So we put all that together, played that show. Um, but we weren't really done playing with that group of people yet. So we ended up throwing the rest of this album together. And 
Jim sang on some stuff because we, we started doing songs like Climb and Spectres with three parts instead of two for vocals. And then every time we would go back and do two parts, we were like, ooh, this is kind of lame now. Like, we want three parts because we've, we've, you know, tasted paradise here. And so we don't want to, <laughs> uh, don't want to let that go. And so we ended up throwing Jim onto the songs that we hadn't recorded yet and put the rest of this album together. And then we came up to our release show and we had Jordan, who Lindsay and I, um, met because there was a church we were going to and Jordan was one of the sound guys there. And so he helped out with my musical at school running sound and sat down on the drum set and just like showed a kid up. Like <laughs> some kid was sitting on the drum set and Jordan just walks in and goes, hey, can I play? And just, you know, <laughs> uh, Love that. totally just outshines the kids. And I was like, oh man, he's a really, really good drummer. So he ended up jumping in for our release show. And when we all rehearsed for it, um, we were practicing in the basement of, of where Jordan was living and just the parts he was writing for these songs was fantastic. I mean, they were all just so musical and thoughtful and he's been playing with us ever since. Um, so then we, we also play with uh, Cam Cotham on, on electric guitar um, and it was just another situation where he was a friend of ours through the music scene here and we needed an extra guitarist for uh, a show down in Providence. And we were like, hey, you want to come play? And he did. And, you know, we haven't let him go since. That's awesome. Now talk about the new album, because the album dropped on Friday. Where is that available? And I give us all the details about that. Yeah, so the new album dropped on Friday. Um, and it's available pretty much everywhere. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer. I don't know. I don't know what Deezer is, but it's there. Um, it's on Napster. Bandcamp as of, yeah, it's, a, it's on Napster, it's on the Pirate Bay, if you want to steal it. Um, LimeWire. If, yeah, well, oh, yeah. if you really want to throw it back, it's available on LimeWire. And, yeah, and if you want a physical copy, you can go to the website now, is that right? Yeah, no, yeah. no probably now, dot com slash merch. Probably now more than ever, it's best to, to buy physical copies of the album because all that money goes to you. Yes. Right. Cool. Um, so up next, one of my favorite tracks off the album. Can we do Haunted? Yeah. All right. Let's play this yeah. and then we'll talk about it. Visiting Y 95.9 WATD.
Back with Visiting Wine on 95.9 WATD, our virtual tiny stage guest tonight, Social Distancing on the phone, and uh, they have a new album that dropped on Friday. Who wants to give us the details? Lindsay does. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, so the new album dropped on Friday. Um, it's called Take Heart. It's a bunch of um, stuff that we've been playing in live shows over the past you know, year and a half or so, but also some that we've, um, we haven't played live very often and one that we've never played live at all. So it should be a, a fun mix for That's people great. who have seen us before. And you mentioned uh, earlier in the interview that it was more of a collaborative effort than the, the self-title that came out a couple of years back. And I, I could really hear that on that particular tune, Haunted. Who wants to talk about how that song came to be? <laughs> Yeah. I'll, I'll take yeah I'll take that one. This one uh, this was exciting because this was like the first time that I like was able to contribute in a like big significant way to to something. Uh, it, so haunted uh, the main riff that you hear in haunted that sort of driving I don't even know how to describe it the that blues sort of riff that goes throughout the song is something that I've just had in my back pocket since like high school uh (laughs) and it was originally written for like metal purposes (laughs) and uh but i figured uh, that's not really our our thing so (laughs) we sort of (laughs) sort of we we adapted it yeah uh, we adapted it to be this sort of southern rock blues type of thing and uh and Greg sort of heard it and was like, is that something that, is that, something that you're playing or is that what, something that <laughs> you made up yourself? Now, if people want to track you down on the web, where's the best place to go? Uh, website, social media, all that good stuff. The best places are probably Facebook and Instagram. So we are um, with Visiting Wine on Instagram and then also I think it's uh, Facebook.com slash Visiting Wine um, on Facebook. And then if you really want to go to the website, it's visitingwine.com. We have some recordings there, and we have a place where you can buy T-shirts or, or either of the two albums. So let's, let's continue on with the music now, and I think I have um, I Believe You as the next track. Talk about this one. This yeah. one could be fun if I, if I start, and then Greg talks about it, and then Lindsay talks about it, because that's, sort of that's sort of how it made the rounds within the band. Yeah. So that little twinkly guitar part that opens and closes the song was the little pluck and chuck thing that I discovered um, at some point. And again, Greg just heard me play and this thing was like, is that original? And he picked up another acoustic guitar and just started playing these rich chords over it and finger picking and it really meshed really well together. And we came up with like a a semblance of like a chord pattern. Jim brought this thing. We we just started playing around with it, um, and it's one of the rare cases where Lindsay was the last person to sort of jump in on it because Jim and I recorded pretty much the whole tune, with the exception of the bridge. That was the last um, section to come in, mm-hmm. and we just did a voice memo of the whole tune sent it to Lindsay, and then she came in with I don't even know if they were half finished words or if they were just already done. Um, but it was pretty much, it, it was, I mean, it was pretty much done at that point. <laughs> we didn't change too much after that. Very cool. Well, let's play the song and then we'll talk some more. This is I Believe You Visiting Wine, 95.9 WATD. It was quiet when we started. Words were short and hearts were guarded. Let us see just, just how far this river runs Learn to trust all words that you say I don't want to give this up yet Night is long but we have found that the morning I don't know where this will go, where winds may blow, where chasms go, our dreams are building one brick at a time. All the world is stretched before us, take a breath and one leap forward, all our doubts and 
All our worries, they come and go May the road run long to meet us May the dawn burn bright to lead us May the light be always stronger Visiting Wine, joining us on the phone tonight on the Tiny Stage, 95.9 WATD, talking about the new album, and the title of the new album is? Take Heart. Take Heart. Take Heart. Awesome. And where is it available? It's available on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Bandcamp, wherever you listen to music. All right. And uh, up next, we have a song called Climb. Let's play the song, and then we'll talk about it after. So uh, this is Visiting Wine, 95.9 WATD. There's a place I go when I get tired A spot in my mind For peace and quiet There's a fountain there that never runs dry Despite how often I Attempt to drain it So still my time, my love, my longing 
Visiting Wine on the virtual tiny stage tonight, being joined on the phone by them this evening. How's everybody doing? Doing great. Good. good. Awesome. Fantabulous. Thank you for joining us and making this work. I know everything is, is super crazy lately, and, and nobody has any any idea what's going on. So hopefully this this uh, COVID-19 uh, shutdown doesn't last too long, and we can get back out to uh, to hear more great live music. And Visiting Wine, share with us again your online information. Yeah, so we're on Instagram and Facebook at Visiting Wine, and then you can find us at visitingwine.com for recordings and merch and stuff like that. Awesome. And uh, I think we have time for two more songs, and uh, let's do those after the break right here on 95.9 WATD. The South Shores Radio Station, 95.9 WATD.
fear from year to year I'll still be here and I'll be all your own regardless of the latitude we've battled through I've had with you the best adventure I have ever known sunshine pray for rain pray that the walls you built around you hold their frame this could all be gone one day and that my dear I've known from the start That is Visiting Wine. They are on the tiny stage tonight on 95.9 WATD. Not playing live, but joining us on the phone. They have a new album out and uh, a postponed upcoming CD release show. It's been uh, bumped to uh, later on in the summer. Visiting Wine, uh, give us the date of the rescheduled release show. So two, we have two release shows back-to-back at City Winery in August. So they're going to be um, Thursday and Friday, which I believe is the 6th and 7th of August. Fantastic. And the new album. Give us the name of that, too. And the new album is called Take Heart. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, we are up against our, our last song of the night, Mike Joshua, Americana Rama, coming your way at 10 o'clock this evening. And um, we have uh, time for one more song, which is Where Have You Been? Who wants to talk about this song? Thank you, Doug. <laughs> Throw it all on, Lindsay. Throw it all. So, so Where Have You Been um, was, the I think, Possibly the first song that was finished for this album. Today's for Today might have been finished first, but this was the, the first big one that we started to play out from the new stuff. Um, and so it was about September of 2018, I think, right after our release show of the, the first album. And um, it was coming at a time where, sort of coming out of this very strange, kind of sad season of, of life, and um, but sort of like getting a little bit of revitalization, a little bit more sort of like life in me. And it was, it's that first moment. It, it's sort of about um, that first moment when you realize like, hey, I've got, I actually have sort of a lot, um, a lot of life still left to give. And a lot of like, um, it's, a, it's supposed to be a song sort of, of of hope and joy and encouragement and sort of optimism for the future. Um, it's that first moment that you realize like, I'm still in there. I'm going to be good. Fantastic. A great song to close out the show and a great song, especially for uh, for this time we're going through right now. Any final words before we wrap things up? Stay, Stay safe, safe, everybody. Wash those hands. Visiting Y95.9 WATD. This is Where Have You Been? Have a great night. We'll talk to you next week. I've been getting used to silence, internal violence, stairs stretch for miles. For a moment I thought that all the courage I had lost would be gone for a while. We've been looking out for so long For a little light to come on What wonder that my eyes have seen Life out of these aching bones I hear the voices calling me Come, come on home Cause I've been saying
from the stables, pour the wine and turn the tables. What was lost now is found. You are sacred, you are whole. Time to awake your sleeping soul and burn every fear to the ground. Yeah. 